Jolie catches me in the hallway one day and she goes, yeah, my brother Jack's going out for track and I'm kind of his ride home from school. Maybe I could go out and run. I haven't been to a track meet since my sister was in middle school and so I didn't really know what to expect. Jolie was just like, it's my senior year, I'm trying to decide if I should do lacrosse or do track and I was like, well, if you do track, I'll do track with you. And then we did track together. I remember the first meet, she was like three seconds off the school record. Very first time ever running in a track meet and running the 800 meters, which was, um, I knew something was special whenever she ran that 800 for the first time in the meet. When she started competing against girls that could run with her, that's when it, it got fun. As the season went on and she still continued to beat everyone and do really, really well, um, I think people took notice and she really stood out. At the time I realized that I, I might be able to run in college, I had only run a couple races because meets were only every so often. My coach came up to me and was like, I know that you're thinking you want to go to IU, but I've got these other D1 schools who are talking to me about you and they really want to have a conversation with you. And I was like, huh. I didn't really think that that would be a possibility, especially after such a short time running. There was a meet that she ran in where you get uh, schools that come here to the Indianapolis area from Ohio, Michigan, Illinois. So there's athletes coming from all the Midwest to run in this meet. And her time was what college coaches were looking for. And so they started seeing this, this girl, Jolie Pinkston from Heritage Christian. And they're like, who is this? Well, you have a senior now that no one's ever heard of. And so they're calling me and they're like, Tell me about this Jolie Pinkston that you have that's running these 800s for you. And so my conversation with these college coaches were, this first time she's ever ran, she's learning how to run, she's learning, how, learning the sport, and she's, she's gonna be very successful at it. Her parents dropped her off. We helped get some of her bags and stuff like that. I got to meet her family. And you could feel the nervous excitement, not only with her parents, but with Jolie too. But you could already tell the kind of person Jolie was from the first day I met her. And it just got stronger from there. This is Olivia. And when she got engaged, and so her soon to be fiance, invited us all to their surprise engagement party. And so it was a blast. That's actually what this picture is from too. Um, and so we all held her up, but this was all the mid distance girls from my freshman year. And Liv just really brought us all together and was such a great friend there. Running is not everything. It's so much more important to build up the relationships on the team and to really just pour into the people around you, ultimately doing it all for God. Her being so new to track when she joined the team was a huge asset and advantage, not just for her, but for the rest of the team. Because Coach Helmer might say, I want you to run this, or I want you to run with this person. And she would say, you know, he knows what's best for me. He's seen me run, so I'll do it.
with someone who's only run for a year, the intriguing part is, you know, what might be. What might be if she trains all year? What could it look like if she gets a couple years under her belt? What could it look like if she gets in some high-level races? But on the other side, what's it going to look like when we start training and she's never done this before? And, and can she hold up to it? And does she want to do this? And, and does she want to do the same thing the year round? You know, you start, start training in July to get ready for whatever's to come, and then you're done in June, and then you start it all over again. Is she going to want to do that? Competitive running is a lot more about skill and about tactic than just normal running. And to an extent, I love that, and to an extent, it terrifies me because as I began to race more and my coach expected more of me, it was just that, that I, the expectations were a lot higher, that there was more pressure on me from my coaches and from myself and just wanting to do the best that I could do, but realizing that that bar was being set higher and higher was intimidating, but it was also a good feeling that after it's over, it's like, I did that and that this is where I'm supposed to be. My first 800 race was in January of my freshman year. We were just starting off indoor season and it was it was at IU and I don't think I did great but I didn't do terribly and so it was just kind of a all right this is get this out of your system this is happening. This fall has been uh, way better than any other fall so now we're three years in starting year three and and, and she's been awesome she's been out there and, and the workouts are now uh, at a level that we would expect them to be and, and, and certainly she had a great year last year making the finals of the Big Ten meet both indoors and outdoors. I think she was maybe fourth indoors and either fourth or fifth outdoors and, and, and that's great running for two years, three years after we see this kid at the state meet running in her first state meet in her first year of track and field and so uh, that de development has occurred but certainly it did it had its share of ups and downs and and I'm sure she had her share of frustrations and, and, and yet she just stays on task and keeps it coming and, uh, and reaps the benefits. She's just so positive always and we just, whenever we'd run together, um, now I bike with her because she's too fast for me. But uh, when, whenever we train together, we just talk to each other and encourage each other and it's just fun. At this level, there's lots of failure, uh, particularly for somebody who's starting off having experienced very little track and field. And whether it's real failure or perceived failure, you have to deal with those things. And so there's not a lot of people who can do that. There's not a lot of people who can, can, can go from nothing and become something and then take that and take it to a higher and higher and higher level. And, and, and so that's a talent in, in, in and of itself. The reason she stood out is because she was very humble and when she needed to be competitive, she came through for the team. She was like, sure, whatever, I'll, I'll run whatever you want me to, and with a big smile on her face every time um, you'd ask her to, to do something. And those are the kind of kids, if you could have a full team of them, um, it's, it's sky's the limit. There's a lot of people who would just take the lesser challenge because it's, there's a little more success that uh, is probably guaranteed. In this particular situation, there was no success guaranteed, but uh, a coach that's incredibly demanding, and, and, and if you're gonna be here, then we're gonna coach you, and if we're gonna coach you, we're gonna expect your best every day, and because we believe in what we're doing, and because we believe in you as an athlete, the chances are really good that if you buy in this and, and, and do your part, that some scary stuff's gonna happen. To consider that she started where she started, and and had no idea what it was gonna look like and yet didn't run away from it at any time at all is, is a tribute to, to who she is and what she's all about. That's why I'm excited to see where we continue to go because there's gonna be a whole lot more out there for her to achieve and, and uh, it's gonna be a very exciting thing.